good people you guys have been requesting a light packing video for winter wardrobe for a long time so here it finally is i'm gonna show you what i packed for my trip for iceland and i only traveled in a carry-on it was a week-long trip but if i was staying longer it would be pretty much the same that i would pack so let's get to it okay so when you're traveling to winter destinations you have to be more practical when it comes to clothes and what you're packing it's also more challenging because the clothes is bulkier and you're gonna have to fit a lot of air into your tiny little carry-on so just let's get started i'm gonna start out with what I would actually wear on the plane because number one tip is wear the bulkiest items on the plane if you can. Like some items it does not make sense but if you can get away with it wear it on the plane and it does not take up space in a carry-on. So on your feet bring one pair of really warm winter boots. I did not bring anything else but just this one pair. I wore them all the time and I did not need any fancy shoes because it's Iceland, it's really cold, it's freezing and if you're not wearing practical footwear, you're not having fun. So one pair of boots and I wore them on the plane so they don't take up space in here. I only brought one pair of pants. I'm wearing them right now and they don't go in the suitcase. So one pair of pants. This was my regular setup, like just a normal long sleeve t-shirt, not fancy at all. But then I have this knitted sweater that my mother-in-law knit for me and it is so warm. It's the warmest wool and I love it for this kind of travel. So I was wearing this because this sweater is really bulky. So I was wearing that on the plane. I was also wearing my jacket. It was winter time in Denmark. So having to go to the airport and sit at the airport and bring the jacket was not a problem. If you're flying from a warm climate to a cold climate, it can be an issue, but I'm just assuming that it's kind of wintry wherever you are. So I just wore my jacket and I didn't have to pack it. I also wore my scarf and my hat. So everything that I'm wearing on the plane is on the floor now, and this is what I need to fit into here. It's really not that bad. I did bring one warm sweater, but that was mostly for exploring. So I also brought a nice warm sweater. So to go out to restaurants and eat and still keep warm, I like to bring something different. And I only brought one like a dress up shirt. I think we went out to eat probably twice, maybe three times. And I just wore this one every single time. Sometimes this one and sometimes this one on top. I felt like I had enough variety and it was just for a week. If I was staying longer, I would probably add in one more, but that's about it. I also brought one more t-shirt just to wear under stuff and to switch out. Keep in mind, it is possible to wash when you're traveling. Find a washing machine somewhere and just wash whatever you need washed if you're run out. That's really the worst that can happen, and how bad is that? Not too bad. When you travel to cold climates, you're gonna need gloves, mittens, whatever. I brought these, they're really warm, they're for skiing and I just knew it was gonna be cold and windy. I went to Iceland in February and it was really cold. So bring something like this, you might feel stupid walking around and carrying it around, but it's a whole lot better than really cold fingers. I also brought a pair of tights to wear under my pants if it was too cold. If I brought a skirt, I could also just use that to change it up with the pants. I just use these under. I like to use packing cubes for my socks and my underwear, so those things always go in here. It makes it easy to pack in the suitcase and things don't go flying everywhere, which I'm a big fan of. Toiletry-wise, I just pack what I normally pack. One thing that I do add in is chapstick. You have to remember to pack this if you have any kind of issues getting dry lips fast. So I always pack this somewhere, preferably in my pocket. I need it all the time. I'm the kind of person who can't fall asleep at night if the, my lips are cracked. So I need this. I also always travel with earplugs and a sleep mask because when you rent a room somewhere, you don't know how loud it's gonna be or if there are any curtains at all. So I just always bring this as standard. Bring a converter plug if you need that for wherever you're going. If not, that's great. I booked an Airbnb and those places, most of the time, they have towels. If it doesn't say clearly on there and I just, I'm assuming that they have towels, then sometimes I just bring this small little micro towel. It's big enough that it actually works. It takes up a lot of water and it's just, in case I need it. I probably won't need it, but sometimes I like to bring it. It's so small and the space it takes up for me 
compared to the hassle of actually not having a towel is worth it to me. I always bring this Eagle Creek super lightweight packing cube as a laundry bag. It weighs nothing and I can just use it as I go. I always pack that. And I have pajamas and it's the long sleeve and long pants pajama version, not the short one. Unless you're like a really warm sleeper. Something that might seem a little random is the swimsuit. In Iceland they have, actually have a lot of hot springs so I knew that we were going to the Blue Lagoon and hopefully some other places as well so I needed to bring this and just go through your destination see if you might need it. You might be going to a spa, a hot spring, whatever. Just think through your trip and see if you might actually need it because being in Iceland where everything is expensive is really annoying to have to go out and buy one. When you travel to colder destinations and you're spending time in your Airbnb, maybe a fancy hotel, I don't know, but I find I always need warm socks at night, unless I want to sit on my bed the whole night. My toes, they get freezing, I can't wear my winter boots inside, so pack a pair of these or maybe your slippers that you use at home. And also, Airbnbs, they do not always have hair dryers. When you're traveling to cold climates, walking outside after you had a shower with your hair all wet, it gets really cold. You might not think of it ahead of time, but bring a hair dryer if you're not absolutely certain that the hotel or the Airbnb has one, because I'm pretty sure you're gonna need it. I always bring mine, I'm always annoyed because it's bulky, but when I'm there, I really appreciate it. So bring a hair dryer if you think you need it. I do videos, so I need to transfer my files to my computer, I always bring it. You might not need to. My camera, by the way, I always carry it on me. I carry it with me in a separate bag when I go on a flight, so it does not need to fit in here. Now for one last thing, and that is something that people often ask about. And I would assume that you would do the same thing with your bulky jacket if you're flying in from a warm climate. But these vacuum bags are really practical when you're traveling to a cold destination. So how they work is that you put your bulky items, like these like snow pants that I needed for Iceland. It's the same if you're going skiing or something, you might need something that's really bulky. So you just fit it in here, you can get them in different sizes and then you zip it locked up here and then you roll the air out. have to make sure when you get these vacuum bags that you get the one where you can roll the air out instead of the one where you have to use a vacuum cleaners because vacuum cleaners they change a lot in how they look in different countries so you might not be able to use them everywhere and also you might not have a vacuum cleaner available when you're going back home so you can't squeeze the air out anyway so get the ones where you can roll the air out that has a zip lock on one end so you can reuse them many times and wherever you are air out of this one and it's really thin and it's easy just to pack in my suitcase and it hardly takes up any space. That's it for this video guys. I fit everything for a week's worth of travel, maybe two weeks if you add in one more sweater or a few more socks. I really recommend you get a vacuum bag so you can vacuum the air out of fluffy items. And I recommend you don't skimp on the warm items because you are really going to need them. Don't think that you can just layer up forever because that just gets impractical. So bring one or two really warm sweaters, wear one on the plane, put the other one in here, maybe in the vacuum bag with the snow pants, bring a hair dryer and some warm woolen socks and you'll be good to go. I'll try and leave links in the description down below for the vacuum bag, the laundry bag that I'm using, the small towel, all these kinds of things, so check the description down below. I hope you liked this video, let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to do a lightweight Q&A, whatever, leave them down in the comments, share this video with your friends if you found it helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!